By the mid-1800s, sending children to school had become more common, but still not required. These schools usually took the form of one-room schoolhouses, where children of all ages learned from the same teacher or even from one another. Van Cortlandville Historical Society is based in one of these old schoolhouses. Students would be seated according to grade level so that the teacher could easily move amongst them, teaching new material, as well as having older students help younger ones to master more basic subjects. Paper was still somewhat expensive at this time, so instead of working out math problems, practicing handwriting or spelling on paper, students would use slate boards with chalk so that they could practice numerous times, erase, and practice again over and over on the same material. Without electricity, the main source of heat in the room would have been a wood-burning stove. Students would have been responsible for collecting firewood and kindling, as well as helping to maintain the fire, adding logs as needed. The most coveted space in the classroom would likely have been the seats nearest the stove. Many children still received their education at home from their parents. Farmers and other working families needed the children's help with the chores and other work around the home. Poor families were more likely to send sons rather than daughters to school, feeling that the formal education was more important for what was expected of men rather than women who would have mostly stayed in the home. Wealthy families might hire a governess to begin young children's education at home before sending them to school or moving on to tutors who also worked in the home. 